Man, I'm gonna tell you, Florida is getting hot, super hot, and coming up what, July, so it's coming up to August, and it's just gonna be brutal. I know some of you guys up north complain about the snow. I don't know. I mean, I live in New York, so I remember the snow, and I remember all that, but it's getting pretty hot, really, really hot. But anyways, I wanted to talk about trucks, because I love my truck. I really do. And in fact, this is the second Chevy Silverado that I have, four-door crew cab, and I have it for several reasons, and I kind of wanted to talk about some of those reasons here in this video. Maybe you're looking for a truck, maybe you have a family and you don't think trucks could be practical, but I'm going to tell you, trucks are amazing, and nowadays it's different, because back in the days, trucks were like hard bone, you know, like nothing, like it was just a truck, but now they are so fancy, but so fancy. But so fancy that it's just more fancy than what I need. Like literate, you know, leather and fancy things. So again, I feel that for a family, a truck is actually a pretty good reason to get. And again, I want to talk about some of the things. This is the second truck that I have. I'm not, I mean, I guess I'm biased to the Chevy Silverado. Not so much for the engine, not so much for anything else other than the look. I love how the, uh, the Chevy Silverado looks it's just something i also like the the dodge ram i'm not a fan of the four f-150s i don't know why I, i'm just not uh but again you know just based on looks you know some people like red some people like blue but if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell let me know what you think down in the comment section below i've been talking about trucks as well here in the channel as well as motorcycle and whatever comes you know jr6 ride whatever i ride whatever i feel like on that day but here five reasons why you should get a truck number one safety i'm going to tell you you could just look at it and i don't know the rating on the safety uh, i mean obviously you have airbags and things like that but primarily the size and the fact that this truck could take a hit and i have a, another car obviously for the family and when i look at that car and i compare this car with you know that car with this car i always think to myself wow you know like if i want to take a hit I could take a hit on this truck, right? The truck is massive. The truck is amazing, just strong. You could just tell that when you drive, it's just like a tank going down the road, right? So again, nowadays we live in a society where they're building trucks or, or vehicles to be replaced. I don't get that feeling with the trucks and I don't get that feeling with the Chevy Silverado. I got 73,000 miles and really the feeling that I got is that this truck is going to last me for a long time and I know it's safe. I know that when my family sits here, they are safe because this truck is literally a, a tank going down the road. So I do like the safety a lot. Now here's something that some of you guys may not think, I mean it is what it is. I do this because I have back issues. so. Uh, Every time I go to a restaurant or something like that, I always want to be comfortable because, again, my back hurts. But, you know, the fact that the position where I'm sitting in a truck is very, very comfortable. So I get point number two will be that it's comfortable. Again, super comfortable. Again, when I'm sitting here, I don't feel like the other car that I have. The other car that I have is really low. So I always got to open the door and go down. And then I feel like I'm more into like an l shape kind of style. In a truck, how I'm sitting right now, it's kind of like I'm coming down, you know, obviously my body turns and then kind of goes down again. Kind of like a seat, you know, like if you'll be sitting down in the dining room table or something like that, right? Eating dinner or something like that. So again, that position to me is awesome because it's so comfortable so again as i get into this into this truck first of all i don't have to go down it's kind of like i take a step up if you're an older person that may be a little bit difficult but then again i got running boards you go have running boards in your truck right but again as i'm sitting down in this position i feel really comfortable and to me that's important right super important because my back hurts and again having that position i don't know what it is i'm sure there's some medical reason or some medical explanation but to me it's just a very comfortable position something that I, I i really really enjoy so again the truck comfort is superb compared to any other car out there i guess maybe suvs could kind of give you the same feeling but compare a truck to like a, a regular car definitely not this comfort is amazing okay maybe the comfort or maybe it's in the same point i'm going to call it number three 
it's going to be how spacious it is. And here's the thing that I'm talking about families, right? If you have a family, a big family, you probably need a lot of space. And I feel that trucks give you a lot of space. Like literally, I'm sitting here, I got a ton of space that way. And I got a ton of space in the back. Now, I picked the crew cab. And the reason why is because I don't really do much work on the truck. Obviously, there's things that sometimes I got to pick up. But obviously, I don't. You know, primarily, I wanted a truck that I could pull a trailer. There's going to be a trailer one day here in the channel. Uh, I got a motorcycle and things like that. Obviously, you guys know, if I do anything in the house, if I pick up a anything that I need to pick up I could pick it up but essentially I wanted to be comfort because I got three kids right and a wife so again very very comfortable when it comes to a family really spacious my three kids go in the back fantastic I'm gonna tell you every time we go out they want to go out with me and they want to go in the truck you know they always say can we take the truck because again the amount of space is is crazy and then you got space right here to my right a passenger and then you have this middle portion right here that you go actually bring up now not every truck has that when I bought the truck I want that specifically because I wanted to have that extra space right so again it's something that you got to think about if you buy one of those trucks that have the, the middle console they're really really cool but you're gonna lose space i didn't want to do that i wanted to have the space so right now i'm a family of five uh obviously if another baby comes in the picture uh one day obviously you know i could put uh one of my kids here in the middle and again you could carry six people very very comfortable you could take trips i guess not comfortable the number six right here in the middle it's gonna be a little bit uncomfortable but again five people for sure very very comfortable and again it's just very very easy to do and I like it. Okay, number four is going to be the bed. And I'm going to tell you, if you ever get a truck, man, there's always something. Really, always something. Like, sometimes, you know, my kid is riding the bicycle and I could pick him up. We could put the bicycle in the back. There's always a repair or something like that. So, again, the bed to me is just one of those things that you don't think you need into you start using it and again you know it's something that I use a lot if you gotta move if you gotta move things if you gotta pick up something I mean I love the bed it gives you so much space so many different uh, capabilities like right now I'm doing some painting in the house I'm, I'm fixing some things that I gotta fix in the house and having that bed in there is amazing obviously if you go on a trip and you put something in the back it may get wet but again you know you got your pros you got your cons right so again Love the bed, allows me to do a lot of things. And the last thing is that a truck could pull. And I love that about this truck, because check it out. I may be buying an RV soon, a travel trailer. And it's something that I've been wanting to get for a long time. If I get it, now I have this car that it could be utilized as a primarily a family car, a car that I use every single day, but I could also pull a trailer, I could also go camping, and you know what? That's something that you cannot do in a regular car, right? So again, love the truck. Those are my five reasons to get a truck. Those That's kind of why I got a truck. This is a second Chevy Silverado that I buy, and I really, really love it. I, I Like I say, I, I, I adore this truck, and I don't see myself driving anything else other than a truck. Let me know what you think. Put comments down below. And as always, God is in control.